Hey, Activate Athletes, Coach Sarasita, Performance Coach here at Activate. Thank you for joining us today. Hope everybody had a great weekend. I had a good weekend doing a little barbecue. So we're going to burn that off today. We have a nice core workout for you guys today. Going to start the week off right. Before we get going, we're going to do a little bit of warm up and activation before we get into our circuits. We're going to start with our good mornings. We're going to go hands on our hips. We're going to hinge. We're going to go for five of these. Good. After these, we're going to go into our single leg good mornings. So same thing here, just reaching forward, extending that leg. We're gonna go five each side. Good, we'll switch, other side. Have a great workout for you guys today. We have a little bit of everything, some isometric holds. Some planks, some dead bugs, hollow blocks, just a little bit of everything to get that core fired up. Good. Instead of a regular squat, we're going to just get into a little bit of a wider stance, going into a sumo squat. We're going to go for 10 here, all the way down, all the way up. Making sure we're pushing those knees out as we go down. Good. Let's go two more. We're going to go into our split stance squats. So one leg in front, one behind, dropping this back knee straight down and up. We're going to go five each side. Good. We'll switch. Other leg in front, this back knee straight down and up. Really driving through this front glute. Good. After these, we're gonna go into our lateral lunges. So feet, they stay forward. Stepping out to the side, pushing our hips back. You should feel a little stretch right here in your inner thigh. Good, other way. Step out to the side. Make sure we're pushing these hips back like this. Good, we'll go one more. And good. We'll go down here to the floor. We're gonna lay on our stomach to start off here. We'll go hands at our side. We're gonna go into our scorpions, making sure that we're facing down here, not straining our neck. We're gonna go for five of these each way. It's my favorite part of the warm up here. Is hearing my back crack. Good. After these, we're gonna come into our quadruped position here on our hands and our knees, making sure our hands are right below those shoulders, knees right below the hips. We're gonna go into our pelvic tilts, so our cat camels. So we're gonna be here and bringing that belly button to our spine. We're doing these nice and controlled. We're gonna go for 10 of these. Good. So just switching here from anterior pelvic tilt to a posterior pelvic tilt. We're going to warm up our hip flexors a little bit as well. Good. After these, we're going to go into our bird alternate here, lifting one hand and the opposite leg, bringing it back down. We're going to go 10 each side. 
for these, we really want to focus, control the movement. We don't want to lean to the side here and lose our balance. We're keeping that core engaged, making sure our back is nice and straight too, and our neck is in line with our spine here. Again, like last time, picture a cup of water on your back, making sure we're going slow enough and controlled. Make sure that glass of water doesn't spill. Good, after these, we're gonna go into our hydrants. So one leg at a time, we're gonna go out to the side and then bringing it back down. We're gonna go for 10 of these. Good, so getting our hip flexors warmed up here. Good, other side, another 10 hydrants on that side. Good, last two. And good. Now we're gonna go into our hip circles. So one leg at a time again, lifting up. We're gonna go five hip circles forward. And then five going back. Good, other side. And back. After these, we have one more, our T-spine rotations. We're gonna go eight each side. Again, reaching under, reaching here towards the ceiling. Making sure we're following that hand with our eyes. Getting a nice rotation in our thoracic spine. And other side. Good, last four. I don't know about you guys, but I'm already sweating a little bit. This is barely our warm up. Good. We'll take a little second here to catch our breath, drink some water before we go into our activation. Good, while you guys rest a little bit for our activation, we're gonna start with hollow rocks. So we're gonna start here on our back. We're gonna have our legs lifted up just a little bit here making sure that we're pressing our lower back into the ground. So for any of these exercises that we're gonna do today, we don't want our lower back to have the space between the ground. We want to push that lower back into the ground. We activate our core a little bit more. We're gonna have our hands here through our ears, so we don't wanna have them over here. So we're gonna be here, and then we're gonna be walking just a little bit forward and back. So we're gonna start with those it's gonna be eight of those then we're gonna come onto our feet here we're going we're gonna go into inchworms starting here reaching for our toes walking our hands out into this push-up position walking them back up once we get back to the top here we're just gonna reach for the ceiling and then back down we're gonna go for five of those and then we're going to finish off with some up and down planks. My favorite here, we're gonna go four each side. We're gonna start here, going down to our elbows, and that same arm that went down is gonna initiate that movement back up, and we're gonna go four each side. So we'll start on our back with our hollow rocks. We'll press that lower back into the ground, lift those feet up, arms right here, and rock. Get a little momentum here. Good, don't lose this position here. Last two. Good. Coming onto our feet. 
into our inchworms. We got five of these. Reach down for your toes. Get a good stretch in your hamstrings. We'll walk it out into this push-up position. And then back here, we'll reach. We got four more of those. Okay, we reach here. Good, last two. Just getting our whole body nice and activated and warmed up before we go into our circuits. Last one. Good, for our up and down planks, I'll actually go three on each side. So whatever arm ish initiates that movement to go down, you'll use that same one to come back up. And again, staying nice and controlled. If it helps a little bit, we can spread our legs just a little bit. Good, other side. You wanna make sure we're keeping our butt low here. We don't wanna have our butt too high up. Again, we'll take a little breather. We'll go for one more round of these three exercises. So we'll take a little second here, and we're gonna go back into our hollow rocks. For the whole time you're rocking, you wanna make sure that core is engaged, not letting your pelvis tilt forward too much. Let's get ready, and go. Eight of these. Good, halfway. And last one. Good, we'll go into our inchworms again. We got five of these. Reach towards your toes. Walk that out. Once you're here, bring it back in. Stand up and reach. And again. Good, we got three more. Last two. And good, last one. Good. Last exercise here. We have our up and down planks, three each side. Let's go, feet in a wide stance here. Nice and controlled, not leaning over to the side too much. Good. We'll go ahead and take a little rest here. Next thing we're going to go into is going to be our first circuit. So all of our circuits are going to be different in terms of sets and reps and all that. So for our first circuit, we're going to do it kind of like a pyramid format. So we're going to have three exercises. First um, set. Uh, reps we're going to do is going to be six. We're going to increase it to eight for the next one. The highest rep range is going to be 10. And then we'll go back down. Eight, six. So it's going to be five rounds here. Six reps of each exercise, each side. Eight, 10, and then back down. Eight, six. The first one we're going to do, I'll go ahead and demonstrate all three before we get started. We're going to do an alternating dead bug. So, We'll have our legs here in a 90 degree angle, or as close to that as possible. Our hands straight up here. It's gonna be opposite leg, opposite arm, extending, and then bringing them back here. And then we'll alternate here. So for the first one, we're gonna do six each side. So it's gonna be really 12 total. So it'll be here 
and here kind of like the bird dog that we did but now we're going to be on our back instead of our hands and our knees the next one's going to be these supine leg drops if you want you can put your hands right here under your butt just making sure that we're squeezing our core pushing that lower back into the ground so we're going to go drop down here and then come back up you don't have to touch the ground for these just hover a little bit above the ground and back up for these we'll alternate as well so it's going to be six each side so 12 total our last exercise we're going to go into a side plank so we'll be here elbow right below that shoulder we don't want to have it too far out here or too close to our body just directly below that shoulder feet stacked here we're going to bring our hips up Staying in this position with our hips up the whole time, we're going to go into a leg abduction. So just bringing that leg up and then back down. So making sure that we're just keeping this hip up, we're not letting it kind of drag down here. And again, six each side. So we'll start with our first round, six reps of everything, so six on each side. Starting with that dead bug, legs and arms off the ground here. And we'll alternate. So press that lower back into the ground. Don't let that lift up. Yeah, this is halfway right here. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Last two. This one's a little bit of a brain workout too. Just remembering which leg and which arm. Good. We'll go into our leg drops here. So feet up bringing it down and back up so we'll alternate here making sure we're keeping our legs nice and straight for these try not to bend them too much yeah this is halfway we got six more good one more each side good then we'll go into our side plank so we're going to go six each side, the elbow right below that shoulder, just bring that hip up, one, two, three, four, five, and last one, good, we'll switch sides, and we're going to be in a nice straight line here so our feet not too forward or behind us, just directly out here one two keeping this hip up good last two good that was our first round we're gonna go into our second round here same thing now we're just gonna increase it by two reps so eight reps of everything let's start with that dead bug here so now it's going to be 16 total since we're doing eight on each side. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, almost done. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, one more each side. Good. We're going to our supine leg drops. The legs up here. Squeeze that core and eight each side. The one leg stays completely still while the other one drops. Seven, eight, halfway there. And 11, 12, 13, 14, one more each side. Good, into that side plank. And eight each side. And if you are having a little trouble balancing, you can use this free hand, which you just put in front of you for a little bit of support. Good, we'll switch sides. Same thing, nice straight line here. Lift that hip up. If you need a little bit of help to balance, 
this arm in front here for support. Good. Good job, guys. We got three more rounds left. So if you need to, take a little sip of water. Our third round is probably going to be the hardest one since you have 10 reps of everything. After that, after this next round, we're going to start going down the pyramid until we reach six reps again. So let's start with our 10 reps of everything. So it's going to be 20 total here. Six, seven, eight. Good, halfway there. So as your arm and opposite leg go down, the other two are trying to stay nice and still here. Good. After these, we're going into our leg drops. So hands below our butt here. Press that lower back into the ground. Legs up, nice and straight. And down. Good. Probably gonna be our hardest one, but we're almost done. And this is 14 right here. 15, 16, almost done. Last two. Good. Go into that side plank. Hip off of the ground and 10 here. I'm going to use my other hand here for support. I don't think I can do 10 good ones of these. That's okay as long as we're keeping our hip up. Good. Let's switch sides. Almost done, guys. Up and 10. Good, last three, two, and one. Good, let's get right back into those dead bugs so we can finish this circuit. So now we're going down the pyramid, eight each side. Like our second round of this one. Eight, nine, Ten, so we got 16 total here, eight each side. Okay, let's go into our leg drops. Five, six, seven, eight, halfway. Good, last four, last two, and good. Into that side plank position. Good, hip off of the ground. Eight each side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Almost done, guys. After this one, we just have one more. And it's six reps, so it should be a little bit easier to get through. Two, three, four, five, six. Keep that hip up. And good. Let's knock this last one out. We'll get a little break after this one. Let's go. Six reps. So dead breaks here. Now we have 12 total. Since we're doing six each side, halfway. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to really feel these. Get into our leg drops. 
like these are kind of similar to our dead bugs, but now we're just focusing on our lower body moving. Really focusing on that squeeze. Good. Last one, side plank. Six each side. Hip off of the ground. And go. Two, three, four, five, and six. Good. Last six on the other side. Almost done. We get a little rest after this one. Two, three, four, five, and six. Good. That was a tough one, guys. Good job. We'll grab a little bit of water. Rest a little bit before we go into our next circuit. Good. So like I said, each one of these circuits is going to be different when it comes to the sets and rep ranges. For this one, we're going to do a timed circuit. So we're going to set our timer for eight minutes. We're going to have four exercises. They're all going to be about different rep ranges. Our first one we're going to do, we're going to go into a plank position here a high plank, so on our hands. We're gonna take a step to the side. We're gonna do a push-up, and then a step to the other side, and push-up. So we're gonna go three each side. So if you are having trouble doing a push-up, or doing this whole movement, you can try to just hold a plank, a high plank, for the whole time that we're doing that first exercise. So for that one, it's gonna be three each side. After that one, we're gonna go into this plank position on our elbows, and we're gonna do a hip tap, just alternating here, each side. So our hip will touch the ground and then come back up. We just wanna make sure we're staying nice and low here. We don't wanna be up here. So for that one, we're gonna go for 10 each side, 20 total. We're gonna flip onto our stomach here. Just in this position here, like as if we're gonna do a sit-up. Instead of coming up, we're gonna come to the side here, try to touch our heel with our hand, and then alternate to the other side. So here, here, and we're gonna do 10 each side for those. Our last exercise is gonna be timed. We're gonna go into a reverse plank. So we're gonna have our hands here, right below our shoulders, our fingers pointed towards our toes here. We're going to lift all the way up here and we're gonna hold for 20 seconds. This is the only one that will be timed here. We're just gonna hold and that's gonna be our last exercise. So again, we're gonna have an eight minute timer. We're just gonna see how many rounds we can get in. Good, so I'll go ahead and set that. And we'll start with our plank. Step to the side with a push-up. So step to the side here, push-up, other side, push-up. So again, if you're having trouble with this movement, try to just hold a high plank while we finish this one. Good. We're going to get to our plank, alternating hip dips. We got 10 each side. So 20 total, making sure we're keeping our hips nice and low here. Good, halfway there. And good. We'll flip over here onto our heel touches. So again, we're alternating side to side. 10 each side so 20 total good halfway there good we'll stay in that position there just put our hands out here and we're going to go for 20 seconds so up 
make sure we're keeping those hips up, not letting them drag down here. Okay, we got about 10 more seconds. Keep that core engaged. Breathe. Three, two, one. Good. That was our first round. It took us a little under two minutes. So back to our plank and push-ups. So step out to the side here. Other way. Good, one more each side. Good. Have our alternating hip dips. 20 total. Good. About halfway there. Good. Let's flip onto our back. We got our heel touches. 20 total here. So you can lift your upper back and your neck off of the ground a little bit here, as long as you don't feel any pain. Oh, good. Into our reverse plank. We're gonna go for 20 seconds there. Let's lift. Good. Use this time to just breathe. Taking a little break. Good. Almost done. And down. Good. That was our second round. Let's see how many more we can get in. We're a little under four minutes, so about halfway there. Back into our plank, plus that push-up. Good, last two. I don't know about you guys, but my arms and shoulders are burning. Let's go into those alternating hip taps. 20 total here. Good. Almost done. Good. Flip onto our back for our heel touches. Good. Halfway there. Good. I am tired, guys. Whew. Let's go into that reverse plank. And up. Keeping those hips up, not letting them drag down. We've got about 10 more seconds. And down. Good. We're at five minutes, 30 seconds. So we can get maybe one and a half more rounds here. Let's go into that plank. Plus the push up out to the side, kind of how we do with our bear crawls. Good. Into the alternating dips. I think that first exercise is the worst one. We're really working on our shoulder stability there, upper body strength. The more we do things like that, the better we'll get at our push ups. Good. Finish those last few. 
we'll go into our heel touches. Twenty here. Good. Last thing here, we're going to go into our reverse plank. And up. Good. Breathe. I'm already not looking forward to this push ups after this one. We got it. A few more seconds here. Three, two, one. Good, we got about 40 seconds here. Let's see how much we can fit into these last few seconds. Good. Good, we got about 15 seconds left. Let's finish that off with our alternating hip dips here. Let's finish this one off strong. And good. Eight minutes. Good job, guys. Whew. Take a little breather, grab some water. Almost done with this core workout. Make sure we're staying hydrated. Good. So we have one last circuit. We'll probably get two rounds of this one. It'll be a good way to just finish off our workout here. First exercise we're going to do is going to be just regular squats here. We're going to go for 15, giving our upper body a little break. Just regular 15 squats. We're going to come onto the floor here, laying on our back, lifting our legs up. We're going to go for heel touches, trying to touch those toes and coming back down. Be focusing on your breathing here. Next one is going to be bicycle crunches. So staying here. We're going to go opposite arm, opposite leg. Try to have them touch here. And then just alternating side to side, getting a little rotation in your core. Last thing is going to be flutter kicks. So again, hands right below your butt. Lift those legs up. And we're just going to flutter here. We're going to go for 20 total. So 10 little kicks each leg. And that is the whole circuit. So let's see if we can squeeze in two rounds. Starting with our squats. So regular 15 squats here. Yeah, let's go 10 more. Good, last five. After these, we're going to the ground. We go into our toe touches. We're on that ground. Feet up and 15. So really try to reach as much as you can, keeping these legs straight. Good, last few. Good. After these, we're gonna go into our bicycle crunches. Tight, so 20 total. Opposite leg, opposite arm. Make sure we're really rotating here. Try to get that knee and elbow to touch if you can. Extending those legs all the way out too. And good. Last one's gonna be our letter kicks. So we got 20 total here, 10 each leg. Push that lower back into the ground. 
engage that core and alternating here. Again, we just want to have them hovering above the ground. We don't want to have them too high up. And good. Almost done here, guys. Let's try to get one last round of our last circuit. Back into our squats. Giving our upper body and our core a little rest. Good. Nine, ten, we got five more. Good. Back on the floor. Our toe touches. Fifteen. Again, nice control for these. We don't want to rush. Reach for those toes. And back down. Reach. Relax. Fifteen. Good, last five. Good, got our bicycle crunches. 20 total, and go. Good, almost done there, finish strong. Good. Last one's gonna be our flutter kicks. We got 20 total. 10 each side. Keep that core engaged. And go. Feet only a little bit off of the ground. Breathe and down. Good job, guys. That was our last round there. We'll just do two stretches here. We'll finish off our workout. Let's sit here, reach forward, hold the position, a few seconds. Just focus on your breathing here. Let your heart rate come down. We'll walk our hands a little bit out to the side here. Good. You feel a stretch in those lats. We'll walk our hands the opposite way. Good. We'll come onto our feet. We'll get into a little bit of a wider stance here. Reach down here. Big a nice stretch. My hamstrings. Good, we'll lift up here. Arms overhead, we'll just lean to the side here. You should feel a stretch all along your side. We'll hold a few seconds. We'll go the other way. All right, thank you for joining me today. Hope you guys enjoyed the core workout.